Hey everyone, welcome back to Dirt Obsession. ATV news coming from Yamaha today as the motor company released both their sport ATV lineups and the utility ATV lineups. That's especially good news for sport ATV enthusiasts who are consistently speculating about the future of sport quads. But in this video, we're going to focus on Yamaha's utility ATVs, starting with their flagship Grizzly 700. As ATV enthusiasts, we're getting used to not seeing much in the way of news as far as updates to new models and 2023 probably won't be much different. But color options on the Grizzly 700, which is my personal favorite 4x4, is much superior to last year's model, with base colors described as cayenne, which apparently means light blue, and Yamaha black. This is a great looking four-wheeler, and one I have recommended to our viewers over and over again for its perfect combination of reliability and performance. The 686cc liquid-cooled single overhead cam engine is as close to bulletproof as it gets, the power steering is the best on any ATV I've ever experienced, and Yamaha still offers a 10-year belt warranty, giving those skeptical of a CVT transmission a little peace of mind. Longtime viewers of this channel will know that we've spent more than our fair share of time owning and testing all of the 1000cc big bore machines. But in my opinion, a big single cylinder engine like the one in the Grizzly or Suzuki's King Quad make the overall feel and balance of the ATV better. That's personal preference, of course, but it's an opinion I've come to after a lot of seat time on a huge variety of ATVs. Now for the bad news for potential Grizzly owners, and that's that inflation has certainly made its way into the ATV markets, with the base model Grizzly 700 EPS listed at $11,399 for the Cayenne in black, or $11,799 for the Realtree Edge Camo version. That's $900 more than last year, and they've been pretty hard to find at dealerships, so you can expect to pay full MSRP. In addition to the base model, the Grizzly EPS SE returns in titanium and midnight blue painted bodywork with 14 inch aluminum wheels and 27 inch Maxisilla tires. This model isn't striking my eye quite as much as the base model, but the wheel and tire upgrade will be worth it to those wanting a decent light mud tire. The EPS SE model is listed at $11,999, which again is $900 more than in 2022. Finally, for the Grizzly lineup, the XTR Edition returns in Desert Tan and Tactical Black, which adds to the features of the SE Edition with the inclusion of a worn winch installed from the factory. The XTRs are always cool looking, and 2023's offering is no exception with the ultra tough looking black and tan. The price hike is consistent with the other models, coming in at $12,399 for 2023, but the Desert Tan in Black with the included winch would probably make me want to upgrade to the XTR if I was considering the SE. So that's it on the Grizzly, and I'm not going to regurgitate all the info from last year's video because most of it hasn't changed, but I do love the base model and the XTR colors this year, and I strongly recommend the Grizzly for most types of ATV riding. We do plan on getting our hands on a Grizzly 700 very soon for a full test ride, so be sure to stick around for that video. The Kodiak 700 is also back this year in three models. The base 700 without EPS, which comes in at $8,399 in tactical green. The base model doesn't have the headlight pod, and the four-wheel drive system doesn't have a fully lockable differential like the EPS in the SE models. The Kodiak 700 EPS model comes in tactical green at $9,999 and fall beige with real tree edge for $10,299. The Kodiak 700 EPS SE model comes in a great looking tactical black painted plastics this year and it comes with the same worn winch on the Grizzly XTR for $10,999. I'm often asked about the difference between the Grizzly 700 and the Kodiak 700. Very simply, the difference is the Kodiak's chassis and dimensions are a little smaller than the Grizzly, and the engine, even though it's the same, is detuned on the Kodiak. It's really best to think of the Kodiak as a 500 class ATV to put it in proper perspective, but it's a solid choice for folks who may not need all the power of the Grizzly, or who are a little more comfortable on a slightly smaller machine. Finally, we have the Kodiak 450s running their 421cc liquid-cooled single overhead cam engines. The Kodiak 450s kind of parallel the Kodiak 700s in terms of packages. The base models don't come with EPS, a headlight pod, or a locking differential. 
and it comes in two color options, either steel blue or tactical green, both for $6,899. The Kodiak 450 EPS adds the power steering, the headlight pod, the locking differential four-wheel drive system in the same colors as its bigger brother, either tactical green for $7,999 or the fall beige and Realtree Edge for $8,199. And last but certainly not least, the Kodiak 450 EPS Special Edition model, which adds the worn winch to the steel blue and black color scheme and rounds out the Yamaha Utility ATV lineup at $8,299. Thanks for checking out the video guys. Stay tuned for the Sport ATV lineup if you're into that sort of thing. And let me know how you feel about the lack of meaningful updates, the price hikes, and the new colors. We love hearing from you in the comments, and we'll see you next time right here on Dirt Obsession.